Hello everyone, welcome to Onyx Earth Tarot. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box below. So we're back with another pick a card reading. It is timeless, maybe a little bit love based, right? It is about the love and feeling good. So this is going to be, I don't want to say two parts, but it's been a while since I've done those attractive readings. So today we're going to see what people find attractive about you in general and what people say. Um, we're throwing in that reputation just because as many questions as we can answer, we will, right? Um, and then soon after I upload this one, maybe in a few days, um, depends on the energies around me, right? Um, we'll see what a specific person, a la your crush, finds attractive about you. So today is the broader version, okay? Um, I do have some love decks. We may get into that a little bit where we feel called to based on the energy of each pile. But like I said, it's a very broad and energetic read today. So we're picking herbal lattes. Okay. It's a different spin. Um, some of you don't overreact because I feel like some of you have very particular palettes and you're like, Ooh, that's weird. Maybe. I don't know. They were really cute, so I put them on the thumbnail. So I'll describe them um, now, actually, for those of you that are visually impaired. Or if you just like to listen to me describe each pile, you can choose now. Pile one is the green matcha latte, okay? Pile number two is gold, yellow. It's a turmeric latte. And then pile three is a pink beetroot latte. Oh, okay, something special about that beetroot. And then pile number four is the purple ube, it's purple yam latte, okay? And these are color, like it's natural colorings that make the lattes like that based on what I saw. So anyway, I will give you a moment to make your selection. And if you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. All right, pal one, my green matcha latte. So let's see what people say about you, what makes you attractive and your reputation. Like I said in the intro, we're going to try to see um, as broad of an energy read as we can and then we'll have another video where we kind of hone in on what a specific person on your mind thinks about you um for those of you that are new i read past present and incoming energy and i do read from a polarity there's usually a light and a shadow um you just have to find yourself in a lesson in the journey and i'm gonna lead with the light i mean if a, if there's a dominant shadow i'll be very surprised um but we'll, we will leave with the light side today just because of the nature of the topic. And then um, something about this pile, when I stepped into the energy, I was like, let me just kind of ground and get ready. I don't know that this pile really cares what people think about them. Like something about the green latte, it just like, it's like, mm, I'm going to watch the video, but I don't really care. Like, and like, it's genuine. Like, you know how people say they don't care what people think about them but you can really tell that they care for real something about the green latte you you genuinely don't care and if that's not true then there's a perception that you don't care what people think so you're very good at pretending you don't care if you know you care okay good okay so i have um a few decks that i want to get some keywords from i'll start with this one and then um we'll get into it so tell me all about this green latte this is my mask pile i'm realizing just because you i'm leading with the you don't care what people think or people have that perception of you so i'm wondering what i'll actually get all right tell me about this green latte what makes my green latte attractive what are people saying and what's the overall reputation for my green latte all right What did I say? Look at that. Confident. This is the pile of like um, confidence, like either people like you may genuinely not care or you're really like something about the way you carry yourself, the, the confidence you exude or 
even if it's fake, like I'm going to be honest, like it doesn't have to be real. Like all of you do not have to be 100% confident. You're very good at pretending to be confident even when you're not. So like people just find your confidence very attractive because that's just what you're projecting. Like I said, whether or not it's real, because <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I need to call that out. Some of you are probably like, I'm not that confident. You know what I mean? I'm a weirdo, maybe, but people see you as very confident and it actually makes you very attractive. Um, maybe you're not easily bothered. Maybe you're not easily wavered, but something about the way that you carry yourself in this confident energy, people like it a lot. Okay. So let me see. Serenity. Yeah. I mentioned not really bothered, not really bothered. Like there's lavender here, like easygoing, chill, like not really worried about it. Um, something about this energy is, um, like the energies that came out really look like the thumbnail. So, um, I mean, I guess that means that those of you selecting this pile, if you are new, if you're new, maybe stick around the channel. Cause you seem to be really tapped in with the energy of the channel and the way that I read, because I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like this looks like the thumbnail. Okay. So yeah, look around, have fun, but yeah, easygoing and confident. So what people really admire about you is that while you have a confidence about you, doesn't matter if it's real, we're going to pretend it's real just for the sake of time. The way you carry yourself is you're very sure, you're very certain in yourself, but very easygoing. So like, you're not really loud. You're not really like, look at me. That's not your energy it just naturally oozes from you. So people naturally gravitate towards you. That's the energy coming through for you. So people find it very attractive how you kind of command attention, how you look good um, in your own way without having to do the most. Like it feels like not having to do extra, not really flashy, that's the vibe, okay? So let me pull from this other deck. And then what happened to the tarot? Give me another card to tell me what people say about my pile number one and what makes them attractive. Okay. Give me one card. What do people say about my pile number one? And what makes them attractive? Oh yeah. Um I'll take it. Um, this is something to do with hesitation or maybe this is a subtle something. Something about this card is going to be very subtle. I don't have a lot of space, but we'll layer because I don't want to like mess anything up. Um, some of you may be very careful, very um, intentional in the way that you do things, in the way that you move, in the way that you speak, in the way that you carry yourself because I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little particular right now, okay? Um, and maybe that's what it is. Maybe you, you, you're, you kind of have a very... Um, like something about composure and control, but it's subtle, right? Like that's the way that you are and people like that a lot. So let me let me just see integration. Um, that's number 30. It says the frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. So people tend to like that you're like a well-rounded individual. Like again, there's that confidence. There's that certain... Um, energy of just being really self-assured. Like you don't need anyone to like tell you anything about yourself, positive or negative. Like you're, you're fine. You're very self-aware. You're good at like flying beneath the radar with this serenity and this integration. Like you can fit in well with groups. You're very good at being social when necessary, but you stand out and you're really your own person. And it talks about the perception of positive and negatives, something about you and who you are as a person, people even people like you even at your worst. So like even if you're not your best version of yourself or if your shadow steps out, whether we're talking about like just being moody or just like even anger, people still like you. Like if anything, some people actually like how multifaceted you are in your expression, okay? Like something about this this pile is screaming authenticity, okay? So something about this subtle, um, maybe you wouldn't realize it about yourself. Um, could be what people don't like. I'm not going to lie. Just because I, I really didn't want to take this card. Um, or in the lightest sense, it could just be an extra that people don't realize about you until they get to know you. So what's that? What did I say? 
I use the word realization and here we are. Um, it says the frequency of realization supports the integral process of becoming aware of our heart centered truth, as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression. So something about the way you are, you may be a bit abrasive, but people respect it at a minimum. Okay. Um, this is about speaking your truth, living your truth, being your truth, something about this pile you're a person that people kind of have to take it or leave it. You kind of are who you are. I'm not saying you're, you don't grow, not saying you don't evolve, because I do see an awareness of the shadow here. Um, some of you are like, well, that's like the shadow. That is just my shadow. No one's perfect and you're fine with it. And people really have to take it or leave it. I think that's funny. But um, the main point here is... Um, you don't know how to lie. I don't like, you know what I mean? This is a pile of not really knowing how to lie or not caring enough to lie. Like I, I, to a certain degree, like people that lie often, it's usually based in fear or something. Cause like, why, what are you lying for? This is a pile of, I don't, I don't have a reason to lie. What am I lying for? So you're going to be honest, possibly in situations where it's not a hundred percent necessary like did you have to say the whole truth and did you have to say it as abrasive as you did that's the thing but people do like that they can rely on you to say the things that need to be said oh i'm talking too much <laughs> some of you talk too much or do the things that need to be done regardless of if it's friendly or considered to be nice and i think that's interesting combined with this serenity because something about the way you do it I feel like sometimes you're the person that people don't get mad. Like you'll do something that most people would get mad about, like, right? Or something that would get most people into trouble, but you don't get into trouble because people are like, oh no, power one, they're like real easy going. Like when, if they say something, it must be true. That's you. Like that's what people like. So I feel like sometimes people set you up, right? Like people are like, oh, send power one to tell them because I don't want to be the one or send power one to do it because like they're not going to get mad at power one. That's you. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. Um, and integration and realization, again, very good at being around other people, interacting with other people, um, like being social, working with other people, but something about it, like you, you just, even when you're not trying to standing out, um, we have that delightful energy. People love you even at your worst. Like this is a pile of people love you even at your worst. So we have this delightful energy and it says, um, <clears throat> I don't know something about talking too much. Some of you either don't talk enough or you talk too much. And I'm not going to lie. I don't believe that there's a balance. Okay, those of you that are a balance, you're just like exceptionally unique in a way that you either say nothing or you say something completely honest. Okay, so the rest of you, like I said, talking too much, not saying anything or only speaking and when you when necessary and when you speak, it's loud and like no one can really question it. So, yeah, but it talks about um, creating and experiencing feelings of intense joy and happiness, okay? And making other people feel good. So people say you make them feel good. People like having you around, okay? People really enjoy your presence. People really enjoy your energy. You have a bright light, even when like very quiet, like if you have quiet moments, that's the thing. Um, something about your physical appearance is very loud. Like you may have very distinct features, a distinct presence. Like you're you're one of those people. Um, you're striking. You have a striking look. And like I know people. Like people always look for the negative things. Some people. I heard somebody say like the word striking is kind of an insult because it's like no, it's not. It means you stand out. Like those people that look like themselves no matter where they go or how they are dressed. Like there's certain people that you can spot them a mile away, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a strong presence that feels like you. Like you cannot hide from people because um, the people that know you, they see you and it's like, oh, look, it's such and such. Let me go and stop them from like doing what they're doing so I can talk, right? Let me see. Tell me more about what people say about pile number one, what makes them attractive. I heard the words, they're easygoing until they're not. All three of your cards came out at one time. <laughs> you got um, number 13, which is death. That's transformation. 
Okay, it's like Scorpio energy. Like this is a darker energy. So it's something about being like bright and dark at the same time. So like there's a certain brightness, light to your energy. There's also a certain darkness, a certain depth, right? Like um, you may dress in extremes. Like you may either wear really loud colors or really dark colors. Um, and those of you that bounce across each polarity, you may do both, right? Um, we have... The magician number one which is awareness okay it's gemini based energy and then we've got the six of swords which is moving on all right i don't know why that's falling like that but we will let it ride all right you change situations i'll say that much um when I said earlier, you're the person that people kind of set up to be like, oh, you let Pow One do it or let Pow One tell them or give this to Pow One. I mean that because that's what people say. Um, people trust you and they rely on you to kind of do, again, the difficult things or the things that are going to require too much thinking. Um, things that require a certain nuance or tact. And it's either because you don't care and you'll just say it regardless of feelings or do it regardless of feelings, or because you know how to be delicate about feelings, right? And it could be both at any given moment because everything has its moment, right? Every reaction, uh, every energy has its purpose, right? You may be able to be all of these that I've described at any given moment, but that's what people say. People say you're very intelligent. You're very good at changing things, transforming situations, right? Um, creating peace um yeah i mean people speak people speak very highly of me people speak very highly of you i don't think you realize that because i'm getting the throat thing for absolutely no reason <clears throat> and i've been getting it a lot so i don't know who these new viewers are <laughs> that's like oh she's talking too much or like that don't um Maybe you need to do some work on your throat chakra. I, Because I, some of you may be, oh, I'm not going to lie. I get a vibe that some of you here may be a little overactive in that throat. Like you may talk a little bit too much. Like sometimes you may be a little bit out of control in the way that you say things, right? Because um, this could be a lack of awareness in the way you come across to other people in the shadow. Um, people still like you and people still like it. But I don't know if the people that aren't receiving and really care for it your approach sometimes so just be cognizant of that okay because yeah now i'm clearing up as i say that and those of you where you're a little too quiet um when you speak up people really like and admire and respect what you say so that they're, they're hoping you'll do that more they're hoping you'll speak more okay um at the bottom we've got that number 10 fixed sign energy which is destiny um that's the will of fortune so let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, You may pick the purple. I hate sending people to piles that I haven't done, but maybe you're the purple because I mean, look at all of that. Like I'm telling you, I don't know. If you're feeling sick, go to the doctor. Like if you have like allergies or something's going on with like your throat, like please see about that because now I feel like I'm super raspy. Absolutely no reason. Like I've been drinking more liquids than usual intentionally just because i have so i don't i don't know what's going on with this pile but i think i'm talking too much <laughs> i think i'm talking too much um but yeah this is people think that you're very lucky people think you're very fortunate right um people think you're very expansive okay but again reliable this is this is that energy of being very reliable Right. Like people think that it's a privilege to have you around. Right. Like they always see the good in having you around. Again, even at your worst, people like your shadow. Even, like the only people that don't like your shadow are the people that are on the receiving end of it. And I have a feeling that they still like it. They just don't want to be they just don't want to be on the receiving end of it. Right. Like it's fine when it like when they're observing you be like that. But it's you know, like I said, I'm just mentioning the shadow. Um so that you're aware. Because like I said, every time I talk about it, the throat thing would come. And now I'm clearing up now that I've said that. So I'm realizing, oh, okay, let's make sure we know. Let's make sure we mind our audience. Let's make sure we consider other people. Okay, let's let's do that with this pile. So let me get, let me get this. Um, something about your energy feels a little bit flighty. Okay, which is good and bad. Um, people think that you're quick to move on from a situation that's not working. Like that's kind of a reputation. Like you're, you'll you'll move on from something um, very very quickly. I don't know what area of life, general. So it could be a variety of areas. 
um, they're thinking that. And then, um, hmm. Yeah, something about your mood, you're very easygoing. So people can tell that you're not really that easily bothered. So if, even if like there's conflict, like you don't, you don't have time to dwell on it. Like that's, that's what people say. Okay. So we've got this new moon, which is new beginnings. Yeah. Move on from things very quickly. Like, um, people may be talking about a new beginning that you've recently started or are anticipating, um, but something about it growth and development here. So that's what people are saying. Um, this feels like a reputation of kind of growing. People are really looking, people are happy at your growth and how you're developing and changing and evolving and expanding. That's, that's the reputation. Okay. At the, okay. All right. Is that like, I'm at, like at the bottom is this? Okay. Um, I'm going to take it as incoming. Um, because there's two sides of you here. Some of you people like that you're set in your ways, Right. And it sounds like a shadow, but not necessarily. Um, Bloom in Reverse talked about reliability. It talks about knowing what you're going to get. Like, so, you know, some of you people are saying, oh, with power number one, we know exactly what we're going to get. Reliable, never going to have to worry about power one. It's always going to be good, right? Um, some of you, there's an incoming perception of that, right? That's probably, maybe it's changing. People are starting to see you as a little more reliable, but Flower, moon, incoming talks about blooming, growing, evolving, expanding, right? Looking really, really good as well, okay? Like, this is a pile that people are saying, oh, look how good pile one looks. So especially those of you that have started, like, shifting and changing your appearance in any way, people like, oh, they delight in how you're blooming. They're like, look at how good pile one looks, I'm like calling out all the piles. Some of you are going to watch all of the piles. Love it for you. Thank you for your support. But make sure you're picking your actual pile before you do that. Okay. So, all right. Let me pull from these decks. This is a pile. Everyone's saying how good you look. I'm not really getting physical attributes from this pile, which is interesting. I'm getting more of a um, mind, a mentality. This is a pile of people like how you think, people like how you speak, people like how you carry yourself. I do see physical attraction, but this is more of an energy. Like people are more attracted to your energy, the way you carry yourself, the way you're speaking and your mentality. Okay. That's this group. Okay. That's this group. So tell me more about my pile. Number one. Yeah. So meditate and contemplate. What did I say? Mentality. So new moon and Pisces. Pisces, um, mutable sign and season, right? Um, so it's the end of winter. So some of you may be stepping out of a very cold period or people are talking about that, or they're talking about, um, could be real time energy, uh, but something about the way you're thinking, maybe you have a shift in perspective, a shift of mentality because transformation of awareness, meditate and contemplate. Like people could be talking about how your mentality is growing and evolving and just it, it's a very chill, easygoing energy, especially if you have a history of like being abrasive or hot, very like, you know, because I'm not going to lie. When I first started this reading, I was a little warm. I was wondering why, but maybe you may be a little hot tempered. You may have a little bit of attitude or easily agitated historically, at least because right now we're getting this calming energy of serenity and lavender and this meditating and contemplate. Like you may be a little more easygoing. Maybe some of the shadow and that aggressive energy I saw earlier was like history or current and you're realizing you're stepping out of it because it's Growth is not an overnight process, right? So people are talking about how they see the growth in you and, and the easygoing energy you're stepping into because destiny and uh, the will of fortune talks about a change, right? Like you're changing for the better, okay? And then we've got more mutable energy. Um, Very attractive. I'll take it because it slipped out. New moon and Taurus. People talking about how good you look, how promising um, your future is, like how good you're doing, and all of the things, but um, more mutable energy, how you're closing a cycle. Um, nothing is just set in stone. Talks about that will of fortune, that growth. Like this is just the beginning or this is just the, like, this is like power one has so much potential. All of the things. That's what I'm getting for this group. Okay. Let me put this down. 
but it's all about change. So something about you as a person, um, regardless of everything I said before, people are talking about changes and growth they see in you and how good you're doing and how prosperous you're going to be as a result of the growth. And I do see again, because um, this is second house of um, your assets, right? Of your self-worth self -worth, um, and how you... Um, like the things you own. So this talks about financial prosperity. Um, Pisces talks about the 12th house, which is um, addressing your shadow side, um, self-imposed limitations, um, getting out of your own way. It talks about like your mental health, addictions, hospitals, all of the things, right? Like everything associated with this. So just doing a lot better. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Okay. I see a lot of mind here because Gemini does rule like the mind when we talk because it's ruled by Mercury, right? The the planet of communication, intellect, and your mental space. And again, Scorpio talks about transformations. We do have new beginnings. Something of some of you got a fresh start, and you're doing really well. And you're looking good while you're doing it. Love it. Um. All right, more. Okay, we'll take both in the bottom. More mutable energy. Um, some of you are really proving yourselves. Oh yeah, you're making adjustments because um, this is my nosy pile. Because what now? I feel like I need to look. There's a certain authority about you, um, that you're growing into, but adjustments are required something about you you're really you're really shifting right now but look at this mutual mutual okay you're working well with others look at you good for you um mutual i keep saying mutual oh my goodness something about mutual energy mutual um i don't know something about the mutual people are saying okay um but mutable energy i mentioned it closes cycles and um we are closing we are ending a season right now we're stepping in the airy season which um is the beginning of spring so our mutable signs are gemini virgo sagittarius and pisces and we actually have because this is more gemini um luck could be associated with jupiter and sagittarius here um lavender is definitely um mutable energy it, it definitely is so a lot of mutable energy so like again closing cycles closing seasons changing and transforming for the better like people are talking about this growth cycle you're in okay that's that's what the conversations about you have are right now and that's kind of the reputation but again surrender fluidity welcoming change people are talking about how adaptive you are and how well you're working with other people we've got yin again more receptive energy again needing to be told things multiple times you're that group you're that group but the good thing is that it feels like maybe you're listening or um People are people are saying the same thing. So when we talk about what people are saying, most people are kind of saying the same thing. So the things that I'm saying are a lot of people saying that, like a lot of the people that know you, right? Um, surrender, fluidity, welcoming change, being receptive here. Oh yeah, we've got it. It's a very easygoing energy stepping on to the table. And then we've got sextile, a combination of tension and flow potential and a rewarding situation so knowing um how much um energy to put where right like knowing where to act knowing where to receive knowing how much is too much when you're interacting with other people this feels like my pile of really maturing okay that's what people are saying i feel like i want to pull from this love deck so i will and then i'll close it out because this is not a, a reading that needs to be super long um you're looking good people are saying um they like where your mind is they like how you're carrying yourself they like the maturity like i don't know what's going on but those are the things that people are saying that's the reputation um and people are really right now attracted to your growth and your mentality. That's the key thing. Okay. So let me let me see. I'll get from this deck specifically since we're talking about. Um, oh, okay. Well, I don't I don't know what that's all about, but here we are. We got past life. There may be a past life connection or unfinished business with this person. 
got it. <laughs> and then we've got third party. There's something or someone affecting your relationship is trying to address it. Um, well, people, I mentioned the growth and maturity energy coming through um, and doing better. So people, when we talk about reputation and what people are saying, um, they are reflecting on any history, right? Any historical energy you have. Um, whatever past instances or things like people are talking about it is what it is, especially when we talk about third parties, um, especially when we talk about, since this is a love specific deck, when we talk about like things that have happened romantically for you, those are conversations, obviously. Um, but I do see all of this growth and expansion. What I'll do is, um, I'll pull another one, right? Um, some of you, this is um, NX or X's, just so you know, that are talking about you. Um, and then you've got, uh, like I said, just overall gossip regarding your love life. Let me pull one more. Let me pull one more. Um, some of you, these are just people that used to know you that are reflecting on you just in general. I didn't expect to get like actual people coming out from this deck. I thought this was going to be like, oh, this is how people see you romantically. Um, if it is, it's people that reflecting on your past, right? Like where that's applicable, letter P could be relevant, but we have um, patience. Why the rush? There's no need to rush divine timing. Enjoy the journey because it is worth the wait. So um, people do talk about being patient with you regarding your past. People talk about um, patient, like patient with you as you grow and evolve and develop. Um, some people don't think you're ready. Um, when we talk about love and romance, they don't think you're at us. I mentioned a maturity thing here, growing and evolving. Some people don't think you're mature enough for a romantic connection or, um, for whatever stages. This is general, right? When we talk about like next steps and connections and all things, some people don't think that could be your partner, could be just people. Um, some people think you need to slow down based on your past romantically, Okay, all your business is coming out. We got emotional support. Now is the time to check in with your emotions and your partner's thoughts and feelings. Um, when we talk about some of you, um, I did see that where, where there's a history regarding um, a connection you may be in. Um, I see attention. People people focused on that and maybe your attention needing to be on that as well. Just any healing that may be required there. Um, I do see people... Um, it's where we talk about situations that may have been painful for you, because I do see healing, growth, and evolution here. People talk about, um, people will like wish you well when it comes to like any, any situations that may have been unfavorable for you in your love life. People are like, oh, like we hope Power One's doing good. We're glad Power One's doing good. Power One looks great. Um, we like that power one is taking their time. We like that power one isn't like rushing into um, like emotional connections. Like this is a combination that feels like people admire that you're not necessarily for the streets, even if you used to be. That's what I'm getting here. All right. So let me close it out with my talisman oracle. Some of you just wanted to know what the gossip was because I didn't get too much of like what people at, like find actually attractive about you. I mentioned those and it was more like a no, tell me what they're saying. <laughs> oh, I'm talking too much. Yeah, that's why I keep getting the throat thing because like this, pe the people selecting this power like some of you act like you don't care what people think about you, but you do. You absolutely do. And you wanted to know. <clears throat> and I caught you and that's why my throat's doing the thing. Love it for you. I mean, I'll tell you what they say. I don't mind saying. I, I mean, that's what the purpose of this reading is for. So final thoughts um, on what I'll take two like I normally do. One card to tell me um, what people find attractive about my power one or what they're saying, please. And I'll take another one that um, t gives you some advice. Healing energy. Look at you. Healing energy. Some of you, um, and I always do this, but they call my attention to it. And, and that's part of my gift as being a detailed reader. My last reading, if you're watching it real time, even if not, it's a skeleton key reading. It's the blue one. And I have a key that has like the tree of life on it. Maybe that's the power you came from. Um, 
If not, that's the pile you're probably going to go to. I don't know what I said there. Go see. <laughs> like, I don't remember. But we have healing energy. Okay, so people find it attractive how nurturing your energy is, how easygoing your energy is, and how um, how you heal um, from like your past, how patient you are, um, how you grow, how you evolve, how you ascend, how you become more mature over time, and whatnot. But I do feel like there's some conversations regarding overcoming something historically because it came through so aggressively here. It could be romantic in nature, but overcoming something related to your past romantically is definitely conversations. It is from an admiration standpoint. Okay, like, oh, this person, they overcame it. They're not letting it stop them. All of the things. Yeah, look how blessed Pal One is. Pal One's doing really well. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Like this, this is what people are saying. They're saying, um, you're healing, you're blessed, you're wise, all of the things. So let me, um, pull one more from advice. I'll take your advice and I'll close it out. So is there any advice my power number one needs to have regarding other people, what people say and what's making them attractive? Okay. Look at you. I love it. Okay. I love it because it's, it's coming here with this sextile all right, which, oh, look, more hurting, like more healing energy. Something about you, you're really healing. Look at you and people see it. People see it. Um, and something about the way you're healing with Chiron, that's the um, wounded healer. You're helping other people with similar energy in some way, okay? Like something about the wounded healer heals from their personal wounds, right? So um, especially if there's people that you offer advice to or people that have offered advice to you, like they see that. That's some of the people that are speaking very highly of you. But the sextile card, right? A combination of tension and flow, potential and a rewarding situation. Your advice is to really step into your leadership, like be a leader. Okay. We talked about that throat chakra, either being too aggressive or too delicate um, or not saying enough or saying too much, finding that balance of tension and flow. But your advice is to really step into your leadership, really step into your power, be seen, be vocal, right? And just be who you're meant to be. At the bottom, I put that down all aggressive. Maybe you have issues with this. Mindfulness, okay? That's a thing, okay? So I'm going to close it out right now. That is all I have for you today, pal number one. Hopefully it resonated. If it did, please like comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay in the know on the content we post here on this channel. Thank you for watching. All right, pile number two. If you selected the yellow gold turmeric latte, this is your reading. We're going to look to see what people say about you, your overall reputation, what makes you attractive. We're leading with really positive energy. I mean, any neg anything negative will slip it in, especially if it's something you need to know. But um, yeah, for those of you that are new, I read past, present, and incoming energy. I often read from that polarity, which is why I mentioned that shadow side. But again, we're leading from that light side. You just have to find yourself in a lesson and the journey. And I'm going to just lead with the really, really bright light side. I mean, maybe, I don't know if it's because this is the gold pile, maybe, but like the energy coming through, um, you may see a lot of repeating fours, one, but also you look really good. So I reset your decks and I have my first three that I'm going to start using. But this one, well, first of all, at the bottom, it's settled on elegance, right? Which is Lily, right? Like, so something about your energy could be very elegant. Um, but I mean, it, I kept seeing like prosperity and abundance. There's a gazillion cards. Like, um, and like I kept seeing, right? You even, look, you even have a, a bright orange yellow flower. When I split the deck, that says pride, like something about you. Like you look really good, like you may turn heads regardless of gender. Um, and then even at the bottom of these resets, you got like romantic love. So people just see you and like uh, immediately are like, oh, I want to get that pal too. Um, I've got the empress at the bottom, which is like fertility. Like it, I, it's just an energy of just really looking good and people wanting some, like people wanting a piece of it. I'm not going to lie. Okay. So let me pull your first card so we can get some of those attributes that attract people to you. But I'm not going to lie. First glance, people consider you to be attractive, okay? All right. And file number two. And that's probably a topic of conversation as well, just because, um, oh yeah, um, 
you may stop people in their tracks, regardless of gender, not even from a um like that level of attraction way, like people that wouldn't be um, attracted to you in a sensual way still admire how you look. Because something about your energy is just like, oh, you turn heads. Got it. Um, tell me about this pal too, though. Tell me about this gold latte. And I'm not, yeah, it like hits you right in the face, right? Because um, I'm, I'm like knocking the stand right now. So yeah, just really captures people's attention. There we go. I haven't really been fighting with the decks. When when more than one come out, we just, we roll with it, okay? And I've got friendship. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't know who's selecting the piles now, but like y'all got to calm down with the uh, throat chakra stuff that's going on. Like some of you, um, I don't know if it's because I'm talking too much. Like the whole purpose of this reading is to talk too much. But like as soon as things come out that either certain people wouldn't want known or you may not want to know or not want to hear or don't want me to say like I get through a thing and like there's nothing wrong with me <laughs> like there's nothing wrong with me um and now it's calling my attention even more so to the card because it's like anytime I get that when I'm doing readings and I know there's no real reason why it makes me stop so green veined makes me feel like a little bit of jealousy so like you may have a lot of jealousy around you okay like you know what I mean? And it, I hate to say it, it could even be your friends. Ooh, I don't want to lead with that. Because why are we leading with that? Um, with that shadow? Some of you have friends that are jealous of you. Mm. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Your energy is very bright, very vibrant. doesn't mean you have negative intentions. I have my own personal beliefs that I will not project into the readings regarding friends that are jealous of you. But um, I mean, yeah, I mean, that that's a thing. Now, People find it attractive how friendly you are, how nice you are, how, how kind and open you are to people, okay? And even if you don't consider yourself to be super friendly, when you do open up to people, the way you treat people, like there's a certain level of compassion that people deeply admire, okay? That's what we've got. And since we're talking about the reputation, people really want to be close to you, want to be friends with you. There we go. What is this? beginnings daffodil okay yeah look you got um i mean this is not gold it's not orange um but i do see yellow tones there but i do see uh yellow right so we got the daffodil beginnings so i don't know something about you whatever new beginning you started or about to start or, or start, uh, something about a new beginning okay i read past present incoming energy so it'll be a different timeline for all of you um People are either talking about new friends you have or people are all wanting to be your friend because of some type of new fresh start beginning, something you've done, something you're doing. OK, people want to be close to you. Got to watch that, um, especially since there was that elegance at the beginning. We got dreams, royal fern, large grass. Yellow. Oh, yeah, you're in your right place, apparently, because look more yellow. But um, yeah, something about my pile number two feels like people wanting to be close to you, you attracting attention, okay? Right? You look like a dream. Okay? So it could it could genuinely just be how you look, how good you look, how attractive you are just at face value, that kind of like a moth to a flame with people. Um from a good like it is a good thing. Like people just find you really attractive, very alluring, like a dream, right? Wanting to immediately want to be close to you. Okay. And then we also have that energy of, um, people saying like, uh, I don't know if people feel like you may be starting like a dream, whether it's like, um, like a, a dream career, like something about, um, I guess manifesting your dreams in a certain way. Like, cause beginnings and dreams feels like, like reaching goals, reaching success. That's what people are saying. Okay. Lots of stuff. Yeah, look, cosmic flowers there when I split the deck. You like you you look good. I don't know what else to tell you. You look good. You're very attractive. People are very attracted to you in all senses of the word. Okay. Tell me more about this gold latte. I'm not really surprised based on the gold latte. I mean it makes sense. Tell me more about this gold latte. What are people saying? What's the reputation? What do people find attractive about this gold latte?
delight. I'm going to put it back. Um, mm, I probably shouldn't have done that, but it in consciousness. I'm going to put it back because it came out of pile one and I want to see if I can get more energy. But it is a confirmation that you're in your right place because it was a lot of gold on that card. So there's a lot of gold energy, like something about gold, like um, people see you as very valuable. Again, I can't emphasize the attractive enough. There we go. Um, conception. Yeah, I mean, we'll roll with this one. We have conception. It says the frequency of conception invites us to bring our consciousness to origin, the place where everything in creation begins. It helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and what we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention. So something about you, people see you as really accomplished or very motivated, very good at getting things off the ground. Um, like they see you as a dreamer. They see you as very good at creating concepts. So anytime something needs to get started or if someone needs a fresh idea or a fresh perspective, you're the person they think of or they at least think you would be the one to do it, okay? For sure. Um, but something about the way that you idealize things, you may be a creative type, right? Something about your vision and the way you, the things you create, people deeply admire that, okay? It's like a dream, okay? You've got dynamic at the bottom. All right, very colorful energy. So I mentioned creation. Um, the frequency of dynamic supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency. It helps us to put together a reality that is made up, made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new with ease, grace, and great joy. So being able to fit a lot of, like being able to kind of, like so, a good example would be like a storyteller being able to put together a bunch of bunch of pieces a bunch of concepts to create one coherent flow that's what people admire about you and that's what people say like oh you can give this mess to pile number two and they'll be able to put it together and make the most of it um you're very good at organizing and structuring things people admire that a very lively energy on the table people think that you're you have a very lively energy even if you don't have like a, a loud and open personality something about the way you are feels very expressive okay let me pull this pile tell me more about my pile number two beyond the fact that everybody thinks that they look so good right it's funny you have very loud aura right like when you step into a room, people notice with conception and dynamic, okay? Tell me more about my pile number two. What do people say? All three of my cards came out at one time. Four. So something about the number four, I will take them in the bottom. It's moving quickly. I don't know. But we have the emperor, okay? You have See, there's a gold um, ring around the head. So gold is... You're in your right place, okay? Um, but there's a certain authority, a certain presence about you. And I don't know, the emperor is like um, king of kings, right? But there's, a, there, there's that passion, but I have royal fern here. And then I have this emperor, which is like a royal kind of a vibe. Um, obviously the male counterpart of the empress. But like, I don't know, something about a certain authority, a certain presence I mentioned that you have that people just deeply, deeply admire. And... It's not just like your energy. It's literally the way you act, the way you move, the way you carry yourself, um, possibly even the way you speak because we have this base chakra here. And this base chakra, maybe you're, you might be the ones that pick the red. I'm not going to lie because there's always that group. Yeah, there's always that group of people that pick the reds um, and there is no red here. I don't know. I thought y'all would have picked pink. Maybe you will, but you picked yellow. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, here it is. That first chakra, that root chakra, that grounded center so ooh, what i love about this pile right physical plane based energy dreams i'm telling you people see you as a person that really knows how to make your dreams a reality like whatever it is you're like if you have a goal if you have a project if you have a creation whether we're talking about just artists like creating like writing a paper writing a story or creating some piece of art um designing things starting a business whatever it is that you have on your mind you're going to do people see you as being very very capable in doing it okay very very capable in doing it so let me let me let me i'll move you so i can move it yeah 
the table is a little different, but we're not going to worry about it. We're not going to worry about it. There we go. And then we've got um, this transformation card, which talks about it again. Um, talks about transformation, but it also talks about um, eighth house energy of inheritances. So uh, people feel like you do the best with whatever situation you're placed in or whatever cards you're dealt in life right because debts inheritances if you're given the short end of the stick you'll lengthen that joint out if you get a lucky instance you'll make the most of it like you're a person that really can think clearly and find your way to success with this ace of swords yeah people think very highly of you people think the word is also efficiency like people think that you're very capable of whatever it is you want to do Okay, people think very highly of you in general. So they think you look really good. They think that you're extremely capable of whatever you want. Yeah, I can see why everybody would want a piece of you and to be your friend because that's the vibe, okay? At the bottom, oh yeah. We had the romantic love at the beginning, right? I think we did. Two of Cups talks about spiritual union. People talk about, like people want to be with you on a romantic level. Like you have a lot of people that want you on a romantic level. That's the thing. Like if, if you're open like if you're open to dating, if you're not in a connection, like you got a lot of people that really would like a piece of you, okay? And I led with that energy. It came out, it was the first initial energy. So I'm just making you aware. Two of Cups, okay? Like people kind of see you as like their dream partner, their dream like person. Yeah, that's the energy coming through for this pile number two. I love it. People like you a lot, okay? Tell me more about my pal number two what do people say what makes them attractive what's the reputation tell me more about my pal number two give me a card there it is okay something about beginnings and dreams Ooh. so reversal and maturing energy so some of you <laughs> it's funny because I, I was like oh i was gonna be like oh this is my pile of all kinds of people i didn't really get like a gender but, but i guess because it's such a physical pile literally with the base chakra because people are really physically attracted to you period the end okay um if i mean some of you you'll you'll have to just figure out where you fall because I, I it is what it is because this is uh, emperor technically divine masculine energy in reverse people recognize you as exceptionally masculine i don't know who i don't know where but we have that here right because um this lunar eclipse is sovereignty which is actually like very regal so some of you where we see especially like this very powerful authority based figure um not while being very air elegant while being very authoritative not being like still having a certain humility here i can see that in reverse right but also um not soft at all in some instances like where that would be a compliment that would be a compliment like very strong very powerful very masculine where that makes sense but this maturing energy talks about being it talks about, um, how do I describe this energy? A very mature, energetic, it's something about maturity, right? Like I, I'm trying to like find the words. Like sometimes people can't quite find the words to describe you because this is like a maturing of like a divine feminine expression, right? So um, here combined with this, technically could be divine masculine expression it could be someone that's very balanced in both sides of themselves right like very very much in balance with their divine masculine side and their divine feminine side um some of you this is just you this is me calling out that i don't know there's certain a certain so the way that you do things, right? Like, because I'm, 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 I'm at a loss for words now. I know that doesn't make any sense. That that's how. I mean, some of you people are at a loss for words, but there's a certain way that you carry yourself, right? And while it's elegant, again, authoritative, it's not necessarily like you don't walk around like you're better than people, 
that's I guess that's what I'm getting from this. Um, but this combination together is like a very powerful presence. I see why everybody is like all like over you because <laughs> that's the energy. Because you, again, you've got this energy, which could be again, divine masculine. And you have the card that says divine feminine in the description of it. So people can't help but acknowledge you. Okay. And we've got, um, some of you have like a very, I'm not going to lie. You have very strong masculine energy in a not feminine at all. So watch that where it could be a shadow. I'm not getting that as a shadow. People really like that energy. Okay. People are really attracted. Like I'm serious because in the reversal of this with this um, emperor, and then you got this um, cancer based energy, which is, would be kind of moon, lunar, kind of more of a feminine expression as well. Like a more nurturing vibe. Watch it where it's a shadow because you could be considered to be not very nurturing at all. Um But again, it's a tough, conquering, going forward energy. So that could be the side that people admire. It's like everything's not going to be soft and nurturing, right? So something about your dominant and aggressive side, people really like, that's what I'm trying to find. I was struggling. I'm not going to lie. I was struggling. But your dominant and aggressive side, people really like that, okay? For sure. I got that. So let me put this down. Let me see. All right, let me pull from these other decks. Where we talk about... um, Because I know I talked a lot about like the, the strong masculine side. We talk about that feminine expression, right? Um, if you consider yourself to be feminine in nature, something about your energy doesn't... I don't say that it doesn't match how you look because it does. Cause like I, I was, I was taken a little bit of back because the energy I was getting primarily was kind of like a softer feminine, especially at the beginning. And then it switched to very masculine. So I was, you know, it's a lot of you here. So it is what it is. But those of you that are feminine, like something about your energy, there is like something about your masculine, powerful, active side that kind of takes people aback and leaves them, I guess, for a loss for words after, cause something about your energy, you look very feminine. You either look very feminine but something about your energy is very like masculine or some of you may actually like have like, like you may be like, I have feminines here that are masculine in their expression. Like there's a certain way you like to dress and a certain way that you carry yourself. Right. That may not be traditionally feminine, but your energy still is like, you don't necessarily like look the most feminine, some of you, but like you very much so are. Regardless, like something about the energy here is a contradictory energy, and that's why I got I got stuck. So regardless of what the contradictory energy regarding how you look and how you are, people like that a lot. It's like a this like intriguing. It's very dynamic. People are like, oh, I did not expect that at all from Pal too. That's the vibe. All right, at the bottom right here, you've got luck is on your side. I want to show you something about your energy. Very expansive, very lucky. Yeah, I couldn't get it. Like, you know what? You can't you confuse people. Look at you. I like that. I think I like stuff like that because it shows that you have character. It shows like you're a multifaceted person because who wants to be predictable? I mean, you want to be reliable, right? You want people to you want to be reliable. You want to be, you know, to a certain degree, you do want to be predictable, but like as a person in your whole essence, you don't want to be predictable. Right. Like there are reliable, there are moments where you should be reliable. There are situations you want to be reliable in. But as a person, as your yourself and the way you live, mm -mm. throw people off. You have a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. Yeah. I mean, whatever it is you do and you do, people just find it really attractive. Um, we do have a personal issue reaches resolution here. Um, Cancer in reverse could be considered Capricorn energy. Full moon in cancer happens during Capricorn season. So something about your work ethic. Um, this is actually um, rules the sun. Ironically enough, my music just shifted. <laughs> and it's funny that what it shifted to, it makes complete sense. So yeah, but the 10th house is the house of reputation and social status and public perception. So... I don't know, something something about like, I don't know, you really stand out in the best way, but people like it. People want to be with you. People want to be around you. 
watch it where it's obviously um, people looking to capitalize. I mean, at the end of it, because I mean, if you have all of this going for you, pal, too, like it feels like someone that's doing well, looking good while they're doing well. You have a lot of options. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I like the energy for, for this pile. And I like the unpredictable nature of it. That's why we have that um, Scorpio and this Pluto here. Something You're very, um, like a breath of fresh air. Let me see. Because I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I was so confused. I was like, okay, the pile was really soft. It was a little bit feminine. And then boom, like this heavy masculine energy just hit it and i'm i'm getting my confirmation because mars is showing itself as i'm talking about it so like some of you that's the thing so tell me what's going on here yeah we've got taurus mm -hmm. trust patience sensuality um taurus is a fixed sign so it talks about like being kind of set in your ways very fixed right so very strong I'm not going to lie, I'm getting, for this pile, I'm getting very strong feminines, okay? I'm getting some masculine energy here. I'm getting some feminines that look possibly a little more masculine or more comfortable in, in looking that way in their expression, but they are actually really soft on the inside. And I'm also getting that dominant, oh, you look really soft and elegant, but ooh, <laughs> I heard like 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 you know what I mean like that's the energy that I got I'm not gonna lie and then I got uh Mars here which is move forward and defend self some of you like you look very soft but you have a very aggressive side um or you look very aggressive but you have a soft side it could be either side or either gender honestly that's what I got um but I like it I like that you know that contradictory vibe here that's so cute so hmm very aggressive when it comes to your money like this is a pile people see you as like focused on your money working towards your money that's the thing okay because this is this is how we express ourselves right mars is our active energy is actually the planet that rules that emperor right like people see you as like an emperor right so you like i'm not gonna lie my my dominant because I have a largely feminine audience, right? If you are feminine, you feel like you carry yourself or look feminine, people are like, oh, look at that beautiful empress. And then they get to know you like, oh, that's <laughs> that's a very aggressive individual or that's a very, um, like something about your energy. Like it's not an insult. It's just not what people expect, okay? That's what I got. And that's why it threw me off when I got like halfway through the pile but they do see you all about like your money, all about looking good, all about your stuff. Okay. Um, all right. Well, let me, let me pull. You got love on the table two times. So you have at least one person. I get a lot of people that are interested in you on a romantic level. Okay. All right. People do want to work with you and partner with you. Okay. So let me see. Oh yeah. People definitely want to work with you and partner with you. Definitely do. Let me see. Things are shifting around me as I'm like trying to do this. Um, your topic. You're definitely a topic. Okay, it says watch out. So watch it though for real because I think that was the energy right at the beginning. We talked about jealousy. Mm. It says watch out. There's a warning message. Be aware of gossip, envy, and jealousy. Someone or something is trying to stand in the way of this connection. So, I mean, this is a broad thing, right? Like, I mean, if you're in a romantic connection, maybe watch out. Um, if that really resonated with you, if that's your experience. But if you're like single, Honestly, let me see what this is that it switched to. Yeah, I wouldn't really worry about it. I mean, like I said, the shifts that are happening around me as I'm doing the reading with like the meditation sounds that I have on, it shifted a lot quicker than I realized um, that I wanted it to. So, but the music that's shifting is the appropriate music aligned with this energy. So I wouldn't worry about this energy. Just be aware of it and be, be conscious of the people you consider to be friends. Be conscious of the people that you have around you. Um, don't be overly friendly with people. Don't just like let anyone be super close to you. And that's it. I mean, yeah, but you have falling in love. 
The feeling of falling in love is one of a kind. Know that it's safe for you to be in love. Yes, some of you got at least one person that's legitimately falling in love with you. Okay, so if you're not in a relationship, there's at least one person that's like legitimately falling in love with you, right? And you're being encouraged to watch out for it. Look at you. Yeah, watch out falling in love and all of the things. That could also be careful of like people saying you need to watch out who you fall in love with. Watch out for, for potential people that you have no business dealing with on a romantic level. There's always a light and shadow, right? And we're talking about what people say. So people are saying like, Watch out who you're dealing with. Watch out who you're falling in love with. Um, there may be someone that is actively watching you from a romantic level. Um, and people are like gossiping about that. Just in general, you got gossip. And I, like I mentioned, that green-eyed monster there. Let me see. So I'm going to I'm gonna wrap this up. Let me wrap this up. Um, if you have a personal issue, I realize I didn't really touch on that that much. If you have a personal issue... Um, people are not really like, people are thinking you're handling it really well. Okay. I'm feeling really nosy. What is this? What is this? What is this? Yeah, that luck is on your side really wants to be here. So people are feeling like you're really lucky. People are feeling like you're really lucky. I don't know what's going on with you, but people are saying you're lucky. Okay. All right. Give me, um, I'll take a card for what people may be saying about you um, or, and what they may find attractive. Um, and then I'll pull another card for advice, okay? So give me one more. What are people saying about my pile number two? Okay. Strong, powerful emperor energy. Like you have a very strong, very powerful energy. Um, when it comes to being a leader, you're, you have a lot of knowledge. People think that you have a lot of knowledge. Um, people are protective of you. They think that you are protected. But um, something about leadership and knowledge and the sharing of that, that's what um, people are saying. So people admire that aspect of you for sure. I mentioned a very strong, powerful energy, but this is going to be your advice. Be resilient, be cunning like the fox, right? Continue to be resilient. Okay, cut ties. Oh, okay. Um, be cognizant like of the people you deal with romantically or that you have historically just because. I mean, resilience fell over here. It did. And then um, all of this is the love stuff. Like even in tarot, you've got... Two of Cups, which is love. This new moon of Libra is love. And that's the love deck. And it's saying you're resilient. And to cut ties. Like, I don't know who that could be or who, you know, there's something, somebody you could be cutting ties with. It will give you life. You will feel a lot better if you stop dealing with whoever this is. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Or maybe it's someone you did cut ties with. And you're doing really well. Like notice you're doing really well when this person's not around or now that this person's not around. Ooh, what is that? Why did that come out? What's going on? Okay, watch out. Because some of you, there's people that are like wanting to like warn you about certain people you're dealing with romantically or wanting to deal with romantically. And it is, I mean, it says gossip, but give me what's going on here. I mean, this is your advice. It says that you're resilient, cut ties, and you'll get, you'll be, you'll feel really good, right? Or remember that you're resilient and why you cut ties and how you, how good you're feeling now. Let me get, a, I don't know what's going on. Let me get one more. Give me one more for this advice for my pile number four. Cause now I'm like, what's going on? Nature. Okay. So whatever feels natural to you. Whatever feels natural to you, whatever makes you feel good and balanced, that's that's what you should do. Anything that makes you feel good, makes you feel full of life, that's where you need to put your energy. Oh, your advice is to pay attention to your relationships, your connections, all of them. Romantic, friendships, all the things. Where are you feeling drained? Obviously, that's a signifier to cut ties. Where are you feeling fulfilled? That's where you should place your energy. Mm, that's what I got for you, okay? So that is all I have for you today, pile number two. Hopefully it resonated. If it did, please like, 
comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay in a note on the content we post here on this channel. Thank you for watching. All right, pile number three, my pink beetroot latte. Let's see what people say about you. Let's get an energetic read of your overall reputation, but we're gonna lead with what kind of makes you attractive so we can get that light energy, the really positive things. But again, we'll mention anything that could be bad just cause I'll let you know, all right? So for those of you that are new, I read past, present, and incoming energy. And I read from a polarity, which means there's a light. And again, that shadow side, you just have to find yourself in the lesson and the journey. And this pink pile feels really sweet so far, just because I have the bottom of your resets. First of all, let me just be nosy and see what's here. Um, here's the crazy thing. Um, some of you are picking multiple piles um, because this, let me just go ahead and just move that because that was actually at the bottom prior to this pile. So some of you are coming from this pile too, which is nothing wrong with that, but I don't I don't want that energy already in. So I have here um, lilac, which is love. And then um, I've got, oh, okay. Well, this, is, this has happened before. So I don't know if this is a thing. Some of you are often surprised by things or maybe you often surprise people, but this feels familiar, familiar like I've done this in a recent reading where I'm like, let me see the bottom and then I see the bottom and I see something in correlation. So I've got this purple, right? Kind of lilac love energy. And then um, I've got this crown chakra. So purple, right? And maybe you're picking the purple pile. I feel like this is the second time I've said that today. So something about that color purple, but um yeah, I don't know. People, people, maybe purple is your favorite color. Maybe you look really good in purple. Um, but something about this energy, people just really like it. Some of you, um, people find it attractive. Um, your just your, your overall energy, your aura, um, how connected to source, how connected to spirit. Like if you are religious, um, people like your faith. Um, some of you people like your love of God and all of the things like that, if that's applicable to you. But something about this energy feels very sweet, very, very pure. Um, that's interesting. Well, let's take a look what's here. Um, we do have triumph, which is um, ruled by the sign of cancer. So home, family, very nurturing energy, um, but very active energy. And you do have the number seven twice. So lots of synchronicities already for this group. Love it. Love it, love it. So let me see more about this pile number three. And I wanted to say two, and I saw another card from pile two. So some of you are coming over. That's okay. But let me make sure that we're not carrying over with this energy. I would like for this to be a different pile. So if you come from a different pile, we can give you a different aspect of what people may be saying or what people find attractive. But so far, this feels like my connected to spirit pile. Tell me more about my pile number three, my pink latte. What are people saying? What's the reputation? What do people find attractive about my pile number three? I don't know what that is, but it slipped in a way that I could not see. Thoughtfulness. Oh, look at that. So yeah, you're definitely coming from that other pile. <laughs> That's okay. People find you very thoughtful. Something about your energy is very thoughtfulness. Like very, I'm not very thoughtfulness, right? Something about your energy is very, very thoughtful. And that's what really, people find that really attractive. People find it actually very sweet, okay? Um, you have patience. Yeah, you're coming from that yellow because um, there's more yellow here, right? It's a uh, yellow pantsy. I have a pile somewhere on the channel. I think it's a secret admirer reading. Yeah, that's what it is because it's a flower. So go to those flower readings. There may be messages for you there. Um, but yeah, something about patience and thoughtful. Um, you're a person that's not going to be rushed. Period. The end, you're not going to be rushed. So people find that deeply attractive. People, people admire it. They like it. Um, you're going to take your time. Everything you do has intention. Everything you do comes naturally. It flows. Um, yeah, it's something about how intentional you are in everything you do, right? Like whatever you do or how you do it, and it could be a variety of aspects of your life. People just really like the intentions 
you have or maybe you're just the type of person that's just very authentic i get that like people just like your authenticity um they always know i don't say they always know what they're gonna get they know that whatever they get is genuine from you okay love it look at you people really admire and respect you pal three that's sweet this is a very very sweet energy like this is a people think you're sweet like right like it, it's yeah okay tell me more about my pile number three please my pink latte i'm not gonna lie this is exactly what you would expect from a pink latte <laughs> i'm not gonna lie um i have to take all of that oh i have to take all i have to take it because it makes sense i'm not gonna lie um we got solar plexus, which is the third chakra, which actually um, is interesting because you're power three, okay? Um, this is the orange chakra, um, and it, it's your creative center. So it says um, it says yellow, but this is not a yellow. Oh, why am I wanting to call that sacral? Something about the color orange may be standing out to you because I'm calling it orange. This is 100% yellow. I'm so sorry. So maybe you are coming from power two because this is a solar plexus. This is your power chakra. So maybe some of you need to work on that or you have worked on that or you just have a very powerful presence. But something about that gold yellow chakra, okay? If you didn't come from Bao Tu, just go ahead. It is what it is because I'm it, like it's coming through so prominently, okay? And then, um, but it says it supports our sense of self, our personal power and our willpower and our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. So people like that you kind of know who you are, know what your purpose is, know what it what, what you should be doing. If you don't feel like you know your purpose, people feel like you're on the right path to figuring out what that is because of how genuine and authentic you are. Um, we do have this emergence energy. It says um, that it invites us to pro approach our reality with a childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment and to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from this place. And the word innocent does stand out because I was already thinking that. Like people, something about your energy, people feel like it's very energy, like it's, it's very innocent, it's very energetic, um, very passionate here. Um, it says that um, beneath every intense emotion lies a hidden gem of insight, balance, and calm. It assists us in finding balance within this intensity, moving us from chaos to the calm of its core where we can let its long-lasting wisdom fill us up. So again, something about hidden gem stands out calm stays out something about you you balance situations out you balance things out okay you have a certain power a certain gentle delicate power right where you really can influence like the people around you um whether we're talking about like a friend group or work all of the things right when you really like want to wield that power right and something about your passion makes everyone else excited around you like you're the person that shifts the energy of a room okay whether you realize it or not, because you're moving at your own pace. Nobody is going to rush you. <laughs> like that's the energy. Like there is no rushing you. You are going to move at your own pace. And so um, I really like seeing the emergence of that solar plexus. So it feels like people are saying, wow, pile three is actually like really stepping out of their shell. They're really stepping into their power, right? They're really emerging. You can see how passionate they are, how expressive they are, how happy they are. And people consider you to be a hidden gem like that phrase really stood out to me okay like like people describe you as a hidden gem okay i love it look at you look at you so at the bottom we've got prosperity yeah okay and it supports our feeling of well-being by allowing the inclusion of everything that makes our body mind heart and soul and spirit sing and it invites us to express ourselves in joy and celebration of the abundance and riches that the universe provides like people see you as like a prize people see you as exceptionally valuable whatever situation like people value you they're like pal three is a type of person you always want around you keep them around you don't let them leave your life <laughs> like that's the thing that's the thing right um, when it comes to patience and thoughtfulness you're the type of person that people like hold like if you have somewhere to be people people stall to keep you around like they don't want you to move they don't want you to move quickly because they want to spend more time with you like people like having you around that's the energy okay very prosperous very passionate um like a bright light i love that a lot of energy though because i mean i got way more cards than i wanted to from that deck 
but it's great great energy i don't think that you you'll seldom find a person that has something negative to say about the pile three and i'm not gonna lie like that's the vibe of the pile three okay you'll like it that's what i'm feeling like this is a general this is a person that is genuinely and generally well liked and if someone doesn't like them, then I mean, everyone doesn't like everyone, but it's more of a personal problem on the end of the person that doesn't like the pile three, right? That's what I'm getting. All right. Because the, the words like I'm hearing of innocent, I'm hearing passionate, I'm hearing excited, creative, and hidden gems. So some of you might really keep to yourself. I'm not going to lie. So what I got here, some of you are stepping out more or I mean, I might be like, I did say incoming. If I'm not describing that, you're stepping out more um, or had historically. And when you did, are, or will, people will be like, oh, pile three usually like keeps to themselves. But look, they're really emerging. They're really ascending. And look at that. That's the vibe. All right. Tell me more about my pink latte. What are people saying? Oh, okay, two things. Look at that. I don't know. I don't know what you got going on. Like if this isn't your energy, then like let me know when it happens. <laughs> I don't know what's going on because because some of y'all in the comments, y'all like, oh, I love the pile, but that's not my energy. I'm like, well, if you picked it and you picked right and you're certain that was your pile, then I might be like predicting something for you because look at this emerging power, right? Emerging into passion and prosperity. You've got recognition and reward and fulfillment of wishes. So I don't know what you got going on. But whatever you're doing, you're doing it well, okay? Or will be soon, okay? Because we've got the Three of Pentacles, which talks about collaboration and collective spaces and just really working on something that's going to do good. Like you work good with groups. You work well with other people. People always have something good to say about you. Like that's just what it is, right? If anything, I feel like um, people always want to make sure that you get your flowers. And if that's not a historical thing, it's an incoming thing because... This is, this is a group of people being like, oh no, we need to make sure Pile 3 gets their flowers. Like we want people to know, like look at look at Pile 3, right? That's what I got, okay? This, this is an energy of attention. So whether you realize it or not, right? Because thoughtfulness could be someone with their head in the clouds. You get a lot of attention, okay? But we do have an emergence of, an, of a fulfillment of wishes. And that talks about like just being very content on your own, um, very fulfilled, um, something about you. When people talk about you, they talk about how well you're doing as an individual. Like you seem to be very content as a person, right? Like regardless of what external things, whatever, um, groups, whatever you seem fulfilled as an individual, right. And very capable of achieving whatever solo, like that's what I'm getting. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't think this pile is going to be very long. I'm going to just pull my last card here and take the bottom before I pull from those other decks. But people speak very highly of you. They, like they do. They just speak very highly of you. All right. Look at you. The Empress. Number three, fertility. Yeah, very creative, very passionate, doing really well. Um, three, you if you're picking three for a very specific reason, um, like if it's a birthday, a life path number, um, it Here's your confirmation. You are in your right pile because you've got three threes. Actually, you may be seeing th repeating threes, three, three, three. Look at you. Love it. You got number one, prosperity begins. Okay. And um, it talks about material gain. So you've got um, very fertile energy, fulfillment of riches, recognition and reward, and two prosperity cards. Oh, this is that pile. Something is like manifesting for you. That's what people are talking about, okay? I may be predicting something because that third eye is there. So some of you, I mean, congratulations in advance. You got two prosperity cards. Some of, like those of you where this is you now, you know, you're like, yep, look at you. I'm doing really good. You are, congratulations. I'm happy for you. But if you're not, I feel like I see it. <laughs> so don't be in the comments like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. If you know you're working on things, or even if you're not, like if, if some of you need to be working on things, okay? Like you need to be working on things so that you can see this energy because this this may be incoming for some of you, okay? Um, yeah, let me pull from this deck. You got prosperity twice. 
and you've got the empress, which is fertility. Okay. It makes sense that this feels a little more feminine. This feels like my feminine power. I mean, it is the pink one that makes sense. Um, but I, I am a little surprised to see the empress come through. I'm not going to lie. We've got movement. Yeah. Okay. Incoming, incoming movement. So those of you that are questioning me, that's why I'm wondering, I keep wondering why I keep wanting to tell y'all that, oh, this is incoming movement, like an incoming energy of movement, like something's going to pick up more number three energy. I don't know why three is relevant for you, but you have number 12 here. Three, 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 three. Okay. It's very, 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 very relevant. Okay. At the bottom, look at all of this Leo energy. Oh, you got attention. That's this. Honestly, Leo is solar plexus energy. Like some of you are like being told to step into your power. Some of you are being let, some of you are being told like you don't realize how much power you have inside of you. Regardless of gender. I know I live with this is my feminine expression power, but it, it has nothing to do with the gender. Um, Leo energy is like, yeah. Cause I mean, technically the ace of pentacles could be like root chakra energy. It's even red. Like you got some things that are about to hit the ground or that you should be working on to hit the ground. Okay. Um, but the hero, people see you as that. Okay. People see you as, as the hero. Okay. I don't know why, but that's how people see you. You got all of this movement coming in. When we talk about creative projects, when we talk about career, when we talk about um, just your personal power, anything solar plexus related, right? Material plane related, you're doing really well, especially when we talk, up, take, talk about things that you've taken your time with, that you've been very patient with. That's what people are talking about. Oh, and by the way, people think that you are radiant like the sun. Because <laughs> I'm talking about how people think very highly of you. They think a lot of your character. They think you're just this amazing person. Um, and they also think you're radiant like the sun. I'm not going to lie. I expected this energy more to come out in the pile too. I love that for you. Um, probably. So what happens, side note, for those of you that care, I, I've noticed um, sometimes when I put certain energies, I, I notice that people think like me, like I'm like, oh, certain energy is going to come out in this pile or whatever, because I don't I don't care because I'm just reading. But the people picking the piles typically do care. So sometimes when there's a large audience that's going to pick a pile simply because they think it's going to be good or that avoid a pile because they think it's going to be bad, the energy that they're expecting to come out and that energy comes out in a different pile. So like if there's a pile, people are like, oh, no, this one's going to be a negative pile. It's usually the best pile. Okay. I might be telling, I might be talking too much, but you, but when there's a pile that people are like, oh no, like I know I'm going to pick um, this one and this one's going to be the best one. That energy usually shifts to a pile where the people that are actually going to be called, going to answer what they're called to go to. I noticed it. I noticed it because this definitely could have been a different pile, but I love this energy. I love this energy for the pile threes. That's why I tell you, pick with your intuition for real. Like Go to the power of your call. If you can watch them all, I love the support. I'm not going to like turn down support, but know which power is yours before you like start watching these. Okay. You have to, otherwise you'll get a message. You'll like it. It'll be good. But if it's not your real message, then what was the point? Right. Unless again, it's just entertainment. And you're not really that worried about it. But yeah, I like that the energy shifted to this pile. And I'm not even going to say that I don't think that the energy should have come in this pile. Like, it makes sense that it came out in this pile. But I think my table is very clear in making sure that I know that this would have been the energy of pile two. But some for some reason, it needed to shift. Because there's so much yellow and gold here. And that also is a signifier for some of you to go to that pile. Because it's not even, it wasn't even a bad pile. All right. Tell me more about my pink latte. What are people thinking? What do people find attractive? Some of you is hair. <laughs> like people like, you know, because she's got like the hair. And then the uh, lions. Um, lions. Yeah, the Leo. Uh, Leos are notorious for like larger expression, like a true lion. Like a larger hair. Some of, some of you that is relevant. Some of you just look well kept up and people think that that's really attractive. Some of you people think that you look like their dream partner, like what they would truly want, um, right? 
All right, let me get another good shuffle. Let me get some shuffles. Oh, I, look what I got here. I got, um, so we could be talking about Pisces based energy, which is like a mermaid dreamy Neptune look. And we do have Virgo, which is like earthy. Okay. Some of you may have those placements. All right. All right. Something about it. I mean, we have, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is the hidden gem? I lost it. It's missing. Here. I'm like, I can't find it. Some of you people are like, what well, people are talking, they can't find you. They don't know what's going on. But especially since I'm looking for the words hidden gems, like something about like, you, maybe you duck off and people can't find you. That may be topics of conversations. But like hidden gem feels like a rare and something about you is very, very rare or people consider that with this blue moon energy so let me get one more shuffle i'll take the bottom i mean not take the bottom i'll get my card and take the bottom and we'll we'll finish with these decks there we go look at you i'll grab these in a second we're gonna look at them but look at you more leo energy you may have leo placements if not something about you you have a lot of personality people deeply admire your personality you're like the sun and they admire your confidence. Um, and something about just your personality, like you have the personality made for success. That's what people say. Something about your personality, it's made for success, okay? That's the energy, okay? You have an incoming energy of um, new moon and Virgo, a time to give rather than take. So what I get is... Um, that with thoughtfulness, you have a very giving nature, a very gracious nature, and people really admire that about you, okay? Something about a new moon. I'm telling you, something about you, people are saying, oh, you got a new start, something is about to pop off, something is about to really begin and take off for you, like, um, especially things you've been working towards, because Virgo is the house that rules work, day-to-day -day tasks and routines, so anything you've been very diligent about, people are like, oh, it's about to, like, people, like, Pile number three, really got it going on. Um, I love this energy because people are talking about um, fifth house energy of joy, pleasure, success, and excitement. So people are saying you're doing really well. Um, you, you're doing a lot of fun and happy things, and you look good while doing it because Virgo rules. Um, sixth house is also health. It's wellness, right? Some people are saying you're regularly doing things that you enjoy. Love that for you. All right. Let's see. I'm down to my last couple of decks. This is amazing energy. I'm not going to lie. People just, they speak really highly of you um, for the most part. Go back to pal th 2 if you're called to it. Tell me more about my pile. Number three, please. Libra is here. It says consideration, fairness, and harmony. Yeah, I mean, people really want to be um, close to you. People like you a lot because Libra is a sign that rules um, partnerships, contracts, relationships. So people find you very attractive. It feels like divine feminine energy. Okay. Um, where that is not applicable, don't lose the message. Um but people find you very attractive, especially if you consider yourself to be feminine in nature. Um, they consider you to be very fair, very just, um, a good decision maker. Um, something about you, you're, you're very patient with people. They consider you to be non-judgmental, very open. Okay, something about this. Um, ooh, look, I talked about the base chakra. Look what's here. Something is grounding. Something's taking root, or at least that's what people believe. <clears throat> I'm talking too much. If people believe it, it must be true to some degree. But this rooting energy. So so we talk about, that's why I kept saying sacral. That's the only one that's missing of all of these colors. Red, orange, and gold. Okay? Gold chakra, solar plexus, orange chakra, sacral, base chakra, root chakra is red. All of your lower, lower chakras are lighting up. You light up people's lower chakras. Okay? People are really, really sensually attracted to you. Okay? Um... 
but this is something that people are saying or this is going to be related to your physical appearance because it landed here with all of this physical energy okay what did i just get through telling about the this is the sign that rules the seventh house so f very physically attractive especially if you're feminine expression people see you as um it, i heard relationship minded but re relationship material so like you're like what people consider to be the type of person they would want a relationship with um because this is the house that says profound relationships intimacy and romantic partnerships this also doubles down on that fair and just energy lots of venus on the table okay this is yin okay this is this is feminine energy divine feminine energy it says intuition trust patience again spirituality receptivity okay yeah this is the pile of i mean it's it's the pink one it makes sense yeah because look neptune that's the mermaid that is pisces um more intuition more like energy of being intuitive one with like spirit and all of the things because we have dream and transcend okay that's what we have very very beautiful energy just people see you as like dream like energy Kind of like a water brush like water like watercolor like it's kind of like like what like when people use filters on pictures to make themselves look better like people feel like you actually look like that that's what i'm getting from this like people find you people say you look good okay i like it good for you i love saying stuff like that in these readings make y'all feel good you should feel good okay pal three all right give me i've been pulling i did it in both piles the first two piles so i'm 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 committed i'm locked in now right so we're gonna get a love message what do people find attractive about my pile number three what are people saying about my pile number three when it comes to love hmm, i don't want that one you may be very particular that's a good thing people are describing um you do have um Confidence is your key to success. And then Libra rules relationships. So um, falling in love. People fall in love with you very easily. People fall in love with your personality and the way that you are and the way you look very easily. Um, if you're connecting with someone, people talk about that. They're like, oh, Pile 3 is falling in love. It's so great. Um, that's so nice to see. Pile 3 is the type of person everyone falls in love with accountability someone needs to take accountability for their actions it may be you your partner or both of you acknowledging the effect of your behavior allows you to move forward what's that <laughs> let me see what's going on people um are very intimidated by you romantically um they don't approach you when they like you. It makes sense with all of this energy. So we've got this confident, like people feel like they need to be really confident to approach you on a romantic level. You've got like these two indicators of romance. Um, and it takes a lot for people to like muster up the courage and be accountable and like actually approaching you. Um, that's interesting to see. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of an energy like, mm-hmm that i'm getting let me close this out i got one more deck i was trying to like see if i'm oops sorry if i'm missing anything here because this is going to be my advice i do see where you can be accountable and pursuing people that you um because this can be initiative like if so if you do that people admire you that you take initiative when you um are attracted to someone some of you because we talk about like what people say. Some of you people are like, oh, when you like somebody, you should approach them. I get that as well. Okay. Since we're, because it's what people find attractive, but it's also what people are saying. So, because it was, it landed on confidence. So something about confidence and accountability when it comes to falling in love, people are talking about. Okay. So let me get, what else um are people saying about my pile number three what are people saying about pile three what do they find attractive about pile number three? Oh, that's a lot that's a lot that's a lot passion tried to come out defensive tried to come out safe travel tried to come out but we only got this one we've only got this one 
rebirth and finding love. Some of you people are talking about your rebirth and love. Love that for you. Concealment. Some of you ducked off. That's hilarious to me because I think I got, I remember saying that earlier. I don't remember why, but like concealment. Like, so some people say like you wear a mask, um, that your mask is coming down, that you need to take a mask. Like you need to take off your mask because that's what this card talks about is revealing your true self and all of the things like that. Okay. Yeah. Some people um, admire, you know, how private you are. Okay. I see that. What else is at the bottom? Yeah. Look, I'm look, I keep telling you something about success. Okay, something about success. So let me get one more shuffle and I'll get your advice. I'll get your advice. Concealment also, when we talk about masks, it talks about just your out outer shell, your physical share that is shell of your body that is ruled by the base chakra everything about how you look physically okay people just really like it people talk about it all of the things look at you you're doing well i love it for you and i love this message for my pile number three so give me my advice for my pile number three my pink latte i'm so happy that i could give you guys like a feel good reading because I, I feel like i'm always giving like negative bad news and i want to i want to do some more readings like this so that you guys can Help you guys with your confidence because I've been getting a lot of messages regarding like confidence and such. So let's help you with that. Um, try make sure you're traveling safely. Make sure you're paying attention, you know, and, and grounding your energy. Like don't have your head in the clouds. That's why you have all of these lower chakras. Make sure you're grounded everywhere that you are and that you're aware of what's going on around you. Okay, that's going to be some major advice. Make sure you're traveling safely. Make sure you're maneuvering situations safely, okay? Yeah, okay, your advice is protection. Make sure you're protected, okay? And But be very passionate. So I'm going to get the book to see why I've, well, I've got a lot of peace here and I've been seeing them. You've got passion two times. So be passionate, be very expressive in your who you are and what you are. But I'm going to get the book because why is protection here? Especially with concealment. Okay. Ooh, well, intuitively I'm getting. Because people are saying you're concealed. Right. Well, this is part of what people are saying. This is part of your advice. Honestly, some of your advice to continue to be like for private. Continue to keep to yourself a little bit. I don't want you to like over emphasize be, i don't want you to cling to that message let me get this let me get this because i need to see what's going on i'm going to pull from that other deck because i need to see um it says you are divinely protected the scary door knocker in the center of this card is here to protect you cast away the darkness and bring good fortune and health to you your home and your family spend some time with this card to feel its power imagine the force field that radiates outward and expands as you strengthen your intent you are shielded in this dome and all the negativity, curses, and bad wishes bounce off of it. If negative vibe approaches, your energy shines bright and powerful and quickly repels it. Embrace and comfort your inner child that was left longing. You are safe. Okay, we cut off, but that's okay because I know why. Uh, some of you are really guarded. That's okay. But your advice is to step out of that energy and to be like embrace passion and prosperity and all of the things um it, it's to step into the world with a with a feeling of safety and protection and to just allow your light to shine that's the advice okay so that is all i have for you today pile number three hopefully it resonated if it did please like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay in the note on the content we post here on this channel thank you for watching all right, pile number four. So let's see what do people say about you. Let's get an energetic read of your reputation and we'll see what makes you attractive. We want, we want all of the things, right? <laughs> so for those of you that are new, I read past, present, and incoming energy. And I read from a polarity. So I'm going to emphasize the light. But, it, you know, anything shadow like that comes through, I will let you know if it's necessary. Um, but yeah, you just have to find yourself in the lesson, in the journey. Something about this purple, um, ube, it, it's purple yam, it's purple yam. 
um, latte. Um, it, it's actually flipped upside down on the thumbnail. So something about it's very different, right? Different from what you expect. Let's see what's at the bottom of your reset so we can kind of just get a temperature check. Oh, I like this. This is number, um, look at me, I'm struggling with the, with the Roman numerals. Number 14, <laughs> solar eclipse threshold. Okay, so we've got, um, we do have a solar eclipse coming up. We do. Um, I actually don't know why I grabbed that specific deck, to be honest. Every, every other pile, yeah, this is, the energy here is going to be a little bit different because that's not the right deck. I was supposed to grab these three. So here we have Ambition that's at the bottom. Like it, like it. Um, so that's a bit of a temperature check. Um, we've got Belief, number 11. Okay, let me just move this. And then um, we've got Light. Okay, this is the sun. So um, Bright Energy, I love it. Okay, so let me just let me just get into it. I don't even, I, honestly, what happened is I took a break and I'm like, well, let me just see what's at the bottom of the recess to just tap into the energy. Some of you may have a little bit of a mysterious vibe. Um, just because I, I sat down and I kind of blanked, right? Like I kind of, like I didn't space out, but I sat down and I'm like, okay, what's the energy for this, this pile? Like I can't quite figure it out, which makes sense. Cause like purple is a color that like represents like spirituality. It's like a really mysterious color um, and all the things like that. So we'll see. Let me see, see, see. Tell me about my pile number four, please. What do people say? What do people find attractive about my pile number four? Ooh, they don't see you coming. I'll say that much. People don't see you coming. You're not what people expect you to be like, or like, I don't know, some, something, I don't know, something about that. Like, cause there's like a hidden energy. Cause like, you see how the card just flipped? I have no idea what this is by the way, but. Let's take a look at it. You may be coming from the previous pile because I'm realizing that um, this is pink and purple. There's a little bit of yellow too, but you know what? Some of you are picking all of the piles. Love that for me. <laughs> Thank you for the support. But um, like I said, just make sure you're picking your piles. Like if you if you feel like you resonate with all of them, that's fine. Some of you may, um, some of you might, but just make sure you're picking your right piles. Um, but we have the dahlia, which that is a flower that I've done before. So if you if you came from that reading, welcome. Um, if you did not, maybe it'll resonate for you. It's in those flower readings that I do. It's a series. I have a playlist on the channel. But something about your energy, very dignified. Like there's something about your dignity, okay, that just people find it attractive and or just a topic of discussion. So let's see what's at the bottom. Persistence, oh yeah, you you probably, oh yeah, I'm not even gonna lie, you came from the pink pile, which is hilarious to me. Um, Cause I, I see a lot of overlap today. Cause look at that, look at this color scheme, okay? You're coming from pink. So, love it. Um, but something about your energy, very dignified, very persistent. Okay. You have a very loud energy. Doesn't mean that you're a loud person. You may be. I don't get that with the dignity. But your energy is very, very loud. And I mentioned like the mystery, right? As people that probably would pick purple have. Um, but it still doesn't change the fact that your energy is very, very loud. So let me let me get another let me get another card because I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a loud energy, but I'm not get, getting many details about it. You're the type of person. You're the type of person. So people will talk to you, and there'll be a lot of conversations, and like like they'll tell you all their business. And like, even if it's someone like you, like it, like random coworkers, right? Like you'll see them often and like they'll tell you all their business. And then like one day they'll sit down and realize, okay, I really don't know much about Pile 4. <laughs> so like you're the type of person that'll sit and listen to people tell you all their business. And then they realize they don't even know anything about you. 
like at all. Like you know everything about them, but like you like you can sit and just listen to people talk and they'll never get any of your information from you. That's funny. That's what I'm getting from this file. Let me see. Give me more about. I'm putting it back because um, there is a lot of overlap. So I do feel like some of you may have been really excited about this reading today because it's been I'm not when I look, I realize it's been a while since I did one of these. So I'm like, let me do one like this. But some of you are picking a lot of the piles. So again, you can resonate with a lot of the energy. That's fine. But I want to make sure that in you resonating with a lot of the energy that at least if someone picks one pile like it's a distinct energy like i'd rather each pile be a, a distinct energy if possible so let's get another card tell me about this purple latte specifically tell me about this purple latte what do people find attractive what are people saying what's the reputation for my purple well, I say some of you, it's not enough energy. Yeah, like people are not getting enough information <laughs> to really like, you know, like some of you people are just talking in general, like, well, what do you know? What do you know? Kind of a vibe, right? Because this, this may be my loner pile. It may be um, because it's really quiet. Like the energy is loud, but again, really quiet. You have number five, which is the throat chakra. And it says the frequency of the throat chakra um, supports our self-expression and our sense of peace and balance. So maybe you're the type of person that prioritizes peace. People say that for sure. Um, persistence is an energy of having to be consistent, which you may people may refer to you as. But in terms of like connecting with you, people like this feels like someone like, oh, they're not going to talk to you unless you talk to them. That's the energy. Like if, if you want to talk to power four, you have to go talk to power four, right? Because they talk a lot about what you do or don't say, right? That's what I'm getting for this pile. Like people want to know more about you. They, they, they want to know your thoughts. They want to hear what you speak. Like some people literally say they want to hear you speak. And for from a perspective of like what's attractive, people like when you speak. Okay, they like to hear your voice. They like the sound of your voice. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting here. Like you get a lot of compliments, whether you realize or not, on your voice or the way you speak or just something about your throat. Okay. Number 33, we've got miraculous energy hitting the table. Love it. The frequency of miracles supports our belief in ourselves as part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible. Oh, people think really high, highly about you. Like they, like people think really highly of you. Okay, something about a miracle. So when we talk about people like just having conversations, something regarding a miracle regarding you, like it could be like your past, it could be current, like um, like health, wellness, life, anything, um, circumstances. It just feels like people discuss something or situations regarding miracles regarding you. Right, like something about a miracle, um, or people just feel very blessed to have you around. Um, miracle energy is also kind of like a one of a kind energy, so you may be like one of those people that everyone's like, Oh, this is like a rare person. That's kind of the energy I'm getting as well. Tell me more, they're definitely sending you to pile three. I'll say that much. Let me see. Tell me more about my pile number four. What are people saying about my pile four? What is the, um, I heard the word rebellious. What is the reputation for my pile four? What makes them attractive? What makes my pile four attractive? Incoming energy of new beginnings. Okay. I mentioned that rebellious energy. So that's the full card, right? So it does talk about fresh start and new beginning, but um, it's ruled by Aquarius. It rules by, it's ruled by Uranus. So that's rebellious energy. That's the planet and sign that rules shocks and surprises. So something about you is very surprising. Maybe, maybe you know, when you talk, it's very shocking and surprising or the things you say or um, just the way you speak, the way you sound, something about your energy is very shocking, very surprising, okay? 
um, very different, very unique, okay? If there's something you're beginning or beginning to do, um, people are talking about that in the most positive way, right? With the miracle card. So some this is probably going to give us information on the miracle. Oh, okay. You've even got like an angel here. So something about you, people describe you as like really angelic, like a miracle. I don't know what you do, who you are, or what energy you send out to other people, but look at that that connected the spirit maybe you're religious if you're religious people talk about that for sure with the crown chakra or if you're just deeply spiritual people talk about that but you got number 11 and number 33 but um look at this angelic energy this is how people describe you um people just i mean people and, and look all of your purple let's leave it out why not let's leave it out um you can barely see because the sun is shifting but we can put it here it's fine um but like yeah people speak very very highly of you now, this is number 11. It is the justice card. Um, talks about fairness. Talks about balance. Talks about harmony. Talks about a non-judgmental perspective. It talks about um, right and wrong. When we talk about miracles and things like that, this is the, this is a sign that kind of rules like karma. So people like talk about like karma in the best way. Like... When, when we talk about um, you, people talk about like how you're getting good karma, how you're going to get good karma, um, how you've been blessed, kind of a vibe. Like people like seem to think you're deserving of all of the best in life. Okay. That's what people think. Um, like, people think really highly of you. And I think it's funny because we got this really mysterious people don't know much about you vibe, but we, but we got where people think, oh, this person's going to be very blessed or this person is very blessed. Like kind of an energy okay now this also talks about um your connections with other people because it's ruled by the sign of um libra the planet venus so relationships partnerships and all of the things that's what we've got you've got two major arcana back to back you've got two chakras two of the higher ones that are connected to spirit which is the throat and the crown and you got the miracle card like honestly I just want to throw it out there and I'll develop it from a grounded perspective. This is a pile that's like divinely favored, right? So like when we talk about like what makes you attractive, your reputation, like this feels like a pile that has a heavy spiritual reputation. Like when it comes to like spirit guides and like higher power, like this is a pile of someone that's done well, doing well, or at least tries their best and is highly favored as a result. So when we talk about what people say about you, you got like higher sources that favor you as well. Okay. And then we, and that's regardless of your religion, right? Whatever that means in your religion. But like Major Arcana talks about that because when we talk about tarot, like all of the other cards, it's the details, right? It's the details. So when you get major cards, I mean, they're called major two, there's only so many in the deck. Hmm right? It's bigger than you. It's more of a person that's kind of um, meant to influence at least one person's life in a very, very impactful way. Um, but this is my pile of individuals that are meant to like at least be teachers, um, meant, especially with the throat chakra. You're meant to spread something, some sort of an energy in the world, no matter how large or small. Like You're meant to share something with more than just yourself, okay? that's the vibe okay let me get one more we'll take the bottom tell me more about this purple latte look at all of your purple okay tell me more about this purple latte please people actually say that as well like you're meant to be bigger than just yourself right like whatever talents skills things you do things you need to say, things you need to share. It's about, it's kind of greater good energy. And I mean that um, everything is relative. Like everyone's not meant to have like a global influence. Um, some of you, are, it's like local community. Some of you, it's as simple as um, like a small group, right? Like a small group, like something about this energy, you're meant to influence someone else in some sort of a way, okay? No matter how small or large, okay? Let me get my last card from this deck. What are people saying about my pile? <laughs> um, I don't know that I'm taking all of this. 
Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I don't have a choice. Oh my goodness. What's happening? So I don't know where I'm going to put all these cards, but like all of these, like it, the cards that are black like that, it's major arcana. So like I mentioned, if you don't know anything about tarot at all, minor cards, like, you know, we talk about like two of pentacles and all of the things like you open here, right? Like this is a minor arcana, right? Like most of the cards are minor, minor arcana, which is this nine of pentacles. And with this being at the bottom, let me just move it off to the side. The nine of pentacles talks about you being rewarded as an individual for this energy that you are meant to share, however you're meant to share it. That's at least what people say, but it is a divine energy on my table. This is my divine pile. Look at you. I mean, you have the crown chakra and miracle. So yeah, that's the vibe. I don't know what's going on. So let me just sort through this on my table. You got most of the chakras. You got throat chakra from that one deck. You got miracle. You got crown. You got the um, intuition, which is the high priestess. Let's put it here. I don't know where I'm going to put all of this stuff. Um, and then you got every, every other chakra. You've got the solar plexus. Let's just, cause I want you to be able to see it before I cover it. You got the sacral twos are very relevant. Some of you are coming from pile two. Makes sense. I got these two, um, chakras. You've got the heart chakra, which that is your chakra. So just take a moment to take in this. Cause this probably will never come out in combination again. <laughs> it's probably never going to happen again, but that's shock surprises like honestly just this coming out like that six of those cards literally miraculous energy so love it love it this is exactly how people see you this is exactly what people say about you this is exactly what makes you attractive you are a person where people can kind of see spirit in you when you cross paths with them like that's why I think I mentioned that the random story where I'm like, people tell you all their business and like, you didn't know nothing about you. It's like you walk around with like this angelic aura because you probably do meet random strangers and they like dump all their trauma on you. And then you're like, hmm, I don't know anything about that person, but I remember they randomly told me all of their business, but they probably walked away feeling really good. I mean, you got to have energetic boundaries. I mean, especially when you're very intuitive, empathic, or psychic, because this would be my pile of people that have those tendencies. Um, but I mean, look at that. I mean, let's let's start pulling from the other decks, though. I mean, these are chakras you may want to work on, but I don't get a vibe of needing to work on because this is what people find attractive. Very powerful, very creative, very loving, very connected to source. I mean, <laughs> it's crazy, but we do have mysterious energy because I talked about that mystery um, with that Pisces influence, that 12th house influence. Yeah, this is my psychic pile, whether you realize it or not. Okay, got it. Because I've, I've got the guidance landing on the high priestess. Okay, so that's the 12th house of hidden things. So this is my pile of being able to see things that other people can't, being able to see perspectives that most people can't. Um, having a certain nuance that other people don't, um, having a certain level creed, like you're the unique, rebellious, different pile, right? Like whatever setting you're in or placed in naturally, it's because you have a certain gift, skill, perspective that other people just don't, okay? Yeah, you've got the planting moon, number two, preparation. Something about the way you prepare, something about the way you do things, the way you can you can share guidance, okay? Something about the way you maneuver life. People find it very attractive. Look at that. I mean, I'm very shocked at this energy. New beginnings, balance, okay. I really don't want to cover any of this up, but I mean, we have to. We got to move on. Something about your energy, people don't like people don't want to stand in front of you. People don't want to like get in your way. Like it's just something about like just move out of power four's way. Not in a like bad sense, but like when it comes to like what like when you when you do a certain work or when you create certain things or like when you're talking or like when you're expressing any in any way, people are like, oh, I don't want, let me just get out of the way for power four because like power four is so great and I I want to make sure power four like I can't stand in front of this masterpiece. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's the energy. I love it. That's so sweet. Tell me more about this purple latte. Tell me more about this purple. I mean, 
People think you're like, a, I don't know, like sent from heaven, literally. Nothing will come of the situation void, of course, moon. So what is this? I heard the words when I saw this card. Nothing, it doesn't get much better than pile four. And I'm not kidding. Like nothing will come of the situation. Like, I mean, I heard like, like how, how are you supposed to top that? And then we have um, communication is key with the new moon and Gemini. I'm not going to lie. When nothing will come of the situation and more communication through chakra energy. People are like, you're not going to get much out of power four. I'll give you that much. Like people, people, if you may not talk much, you may not talk much. I'm realizing the chakras you have on the table um, are in, they're not laid out in order, but this is two, three, four. Five. So something about steps two, three, four, five. Okay. But I'm noticing actually, um, you may, people may think, make sure you have a grounded energy. That's the only shadow I see is because, um, you may have a very flowy Pisces, like occult, like magical energy about you or people don't really see you as a real person. I say that because you don't have base chakra. You have it here a little bit with the nine of pentacles because it's like a grounded because pentacles are grounded. Okay. Um, but you have all of the psychic energy here. So I'll take that as third eye. So I'll treat the high priestess as third eye, but you do lack beyond here this grounded. Otherwise, you're you're fine. Um, but people like to talk to you, want to talk to you. Something about the way you communicate is very, very important. You relate to people very well. People can see themselves in you and they feel like you can see um, yourself in them. People connect with you very intimately, very quickly, I'm realizing. Okay? That's an energy you have. Okay? So, what are people saying? What else are people saying? I don't know what's going on. Something about communication, the way you communicate or don't is... A conversation okay it's a topic i didn't mean to say conversation maybe it is a conversation all right tell me more about this purple latte i'm not taking that tell me more about my purple latte um Yes, I mean, uh, people don't necessarily see you as a real person. I'm not going to lie, because Neptune is is the planet that rules this, this intuition energy. Okay, it's like fantasy, dream, like they think you're like the best thing since sliced bread. But you can watch it because what happens is sometimes when people don't see you as a real person, um, you may not get the support you need, okay, with dignity and persistence. I see that sometimes, okay. Um, but you have sextile, a combination of tension and flow, potential and a rewarding situation. I'm telling you, people see you as like perfect. Power four is perfect. That's how people see you. Um, and again, with all of those fantasy aspects, it could be in a, like an illusion of like not really seeing you as a real person. Because all of this feels like a not real person. Okay. Um, which good because like people think you're amazing. But again, bad because like if they don't see you as a real person, it's. It's not good, okay? So let me let me pull from this love based deck. Right? Like people can treat you like a movie sometimes because they don't see you as real, right? You have to be careful with people that don't see you as real, okay? Cause because what happens is not seeing you as seeing you as a fantasy as an illusion can kind of be um dehumanizing on the worst sense. I don't want to like make it down like shadow lane, but I just want you to be cognizant of that because you some of you may or may not be aware of this energy. It must be the truth. I got a little toot of horn of confirmation outside. But when people don't see you as a real person, they can't, and they lose sight of your humanity. Um, it means that people can tend to have a lack of empathy for your needs and your desires and your pain, right? Like because they don't, they like it's like TV. Like it's like oh, that's not real life, and they don't re even if they don't realize that's what they're doing, right? Because it's not real. Like they don't see you as a real person. So just be cognizant of that. Okay. Because even when nothing will come of the situation. It's like uh, 
I'm not really worried about pile four. They'll let me know if something's wrong. Like that's what I got. So some of you actually should speak up a little more because I'm I'm getting a being quiet to a fault vibe, right? Because no, because with this mysterious energy, because again, you people don't know what's going on with you. So because you keep too much to yourself, I got that. That's why that Neptune kept coming out like an illusion of everything being perfect, even when it's not. Just watch it. Just watch it. Okay. Um, let me see. This is gonna tell me specifically, I guess, what love and romance, but um. What are people saying about my pile number four? Um, what are people saying about my pile number four? And then what do people find attractive about my pile number four? Building a future. Well, yeah, people are saying like you're working. People people think that you're doing well. Um, people are saying that you're headed in the right direction. Like people are saying you have a promising future. You're also the type of person when it comes to being attractive, people see you as the type of person they'd like to build a future with, right? Because again, it says this one is a keeper. Your love life is ascending to the next level. People feel like being with you would be very good, like would take them to a whole nother level. People see you as the type of partner that's better than anyone they could ever be with, right? Like that's how people see you. Um... Because again, I do get a vibe that this is my pile of individuals where at least some people that could either be around you or just people in general don't necessarily see you as a real person. Okay, watch it. What's this? What's this? South note. Okay, don't let your past hold you back. What do you need to, especially people from your past. Mm. <clears throat> I'm talking too much. <laughs> well, I've got very soon. Be clear about what you want because within the blink of an eye, it will be yours. Um, Something something fast paced. I don't know what's going on. People may be saying very soon, Um, like especially if you have a partner, if you're engaged, people may be talking about a pending marriage. Um, I see that for some of you, but very soon you'll be building a future. So that could be just in terms of like your success. That could be, we're talking about love specifically. I don't know what's going on with you. But people are saying very soon, I'll put this here, if I can squeeze it in. There we go. Very soon, you're going to be building a future. I'm talking too much. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm talking too much. I didn't have that the whole pile. And now, I guess, this is my really private pile. So, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm talking too much because, <laughs> like, it was fine. This is actually the one pile where I didn't get the rasp because... I've been getting it in every pile because when I'm talking too much or people don't want me saying certain things, I get that. There's nothing wrong with me. But as soon as I start talking about like building a future very soon, got a little rasp for this pile. Mm. Well, I mean, it is what it is. So let me pull. I'm going to get from this deck advice. Mm, no, no, no. I'm going to get one more card about... What people find attractive about you, what people may be saying about you, and then I'm going to um, get advice after. So tell me what people are saying about my pile number four. What are people saying about pile four? What do people find attractive about pile four? What did we talk about earlier? Look at all of this on the table. I'm so happy for this pile. Watch it. Like I said, the, just, the shadow is just a mention, right? Like being cognizant of, of individuals and how people see you because I mean I don't this isn't a pile of people like out to get you or anything like that at all it's a pile of you seem perfect whether intentionally so or just I guess your aura and then like people just not really seeing you as a real person as a result um but you have karmic justice people I'm telling you people talk about how great you're doing this is there's no shadow here people talk about how great you're doing and how you're going to be blessed for being such an amazing person and like how you deserve all the best in the universe like that's this pile I love that so much I love that so much um that's what people say like you're getting your karmic justice you're getting what you deserve when it comes to your future but oh, that's split. So what's here? Safe travel. Um, people are talking about you in terms of safe travel and like you're headed in the right direction in life. Love it. What's that? I wanted to see what was at the bottom. Um, concealment. Yeah, they talk about how you keep things to yourself. They do. And, and like a mask, wearing a mask and needing to um, like trying to know about your business, wanting to know your business. Okay. Wanting you to open up more. Okay, so let me... What, what's 
my pile number four's advice. That's my pile number four's advice. It's going to be regarding communicating. Maybe you should communicate more. Um, but communication is key very soon. Cast away negativity. What is this? How did that happen? Um, cast away negativity in reverse. As your advice well let me let me see what the book has to say um regardless don't panic because you got good fortune right and you see i opened the book and it went straight to good fortune okay so like just be fortunate right just be fortunate like and like some of you are gonna be like how do i be fortunate like just i remember i read past present and incoming energy this could be incoming topics as well right um but like just be fortunate because this is the pile of being divinely favored. So just be fortunate. Whatever your religion is, connect with your higher power and just be fortunate, li literally. Like, because you have that at the bottom. But I want to see, I'm going to read the good fortune since it went straight to the page. But then I want to see what cast away negativity. And you know it went straight to the page because I can't even find it anymore with the good fortune. Where is it? There it is. Okay, you may be seeing scarab beetles. That could be a thing, but it, it talks about symbols of good fortune, rebirth, and protection from jealousy. And the card indicates a, a prosperity and long-term success. And it could also mean a miracle. You have that card. You have that card. I can't even get to it. I can't even get to it. Listen, I can't even put everything where it goes. Look, I'm going to just lay it here. I'm going to lay it here. This is my pile of needing to be told things multiple times. You have miracle here and you have miracle. Like it talks about miracles and blessings. Okay. But it's not a passive fortune. So it says now is the time to formulate new ideas about the path you want to follow. All right. Decide what you're interested in and take action because luck is on your side. And this car can ease the hard work that needs to be done to get to the finish line. But it's up to you to see yourself through. You will resurrect your power when you encounter obstacles on your way, but you need to stay focused on your goals. Don't forget to celebrate your success. I attract good fortune. So that's your affirmation. I attract good fortune. You do. And look, I'm not going to lie. I'm sliding everything, trying to hurry up and get to the thing. Look what's, at, what, look what's here. Believe in the impossible blue moon. So you got miracle, blue moon. All of the things. This is an amazing group and an amazing pile. Um, I don't know that Castaway Negativity has a um, a reversal. I'm not going to lie. So I'll be honest with you what my interpretation of that is, especially with this. This is about you're blessed. You're divinely so supported. You've got spirit team protecting you. You have a lot of good people around you protecting you. And you don't need to be guarded, right? With concealment, you don't need to cast away negativity. You don't have much negativity around you, right? Because I get a very guarded energy from this pile. And it's like, you don't need that, right? Like there's, like there's, no, there's no negativity to cast away at this point, okay? At least not generally, okay. I don't. At least I don't. I don't. I don't see. Unless you, if you picked other piles, maybe right. And and you know maybe if you picked other readings, maybe. But it's saying just generally you do not have negativity around you, okay. And don't be like afraid when it comes to your goals and everything. You're exceptionally blessed. You're exceptionally favored, both on the physical plane with the people around you, um, or just people in general as well as God, right? Because that's what's on my table, okay? All right. So, I mean, I'm excited for this pile. I like the energy a lot. So, I'm going to close it out. That is all I have for you today, pile number four. Hopefully, it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay in the know on the content we post here on this channel. Thank you for watching.